Hi guys, if you've only got five minutes to unwind at the end of a day, this is a lovely way to do it. I'm going to open the shoulders, hips and hamstrings. So inhale, take your fingertips to your shoulders and then we're just going to twist gently from side to side. Just moving at your own pace, gently opening up. Maybe close the eyes so you can observe sensations in the body. A few more rounds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Pause, take a breath. Same positioning, this time we're gonna open up the thoracic spine and the chest. So as we inhale, we reach the heart forward, shoulder blades squeeze together. As we exhale, we take the upper back towards the wall and draw the elbows together. One, two. Flow to the rhythm of your breath. Three, four, five, Six. Stay with the breath and sensations in your body. Keep the elbows up, shoulders away from the ears. Last one. Release the hands. Take a breath. Come into a comfortable wide leg position. So that might be here. And you can come and sit on some cushions or some blocks if that feels better for you. Wherever you are, sit nice and upright and then we're going to gently move from side to side. So inhaling, exhale, inhale centre, exhale fold. Doesn't matter how far you come down. Soften the face. And don't force it here. Just come to where it feels good. As you inhale, take the time to lengthen through the center. And as you exhale, melting into it. Not creating too much tension and resistance here. We're just moving the body to release tension. And create softness. Last few. Last two. And when you come down this side, just stay. Don't force yourself all the way down. Just find that very first point of resistance. Close your eyes. Maybe turn the palms up to soften the pose and breathe into any sensation. Feel as though when you're inhaling, you're creating space where you can feel the stretch. And as you exhale, you're just melting into it. Last exhale, inhale, reach the hands up as you come through centre, exhaling, opposite side, connect with the breath, inhale, and exhale, soften the eyes and the forehead. Relax the back of the leg. Inhale, coming through center, short by the Kanasana. We're going to bring the feet together. The feet can be as far in front of you as feels good. If the hips are quite flexible, you can walk the hips in. But it's really important that you find your edge. Don't push beyond it again. 
You can sit on cushions or blocks to elevate the hips and make it easier to open up in this position. Wherever you are, you've got some options. You can stay here, lengthen through the spine and let gravity open up the hips. If it feels too intense, you can place some blocks or bolsters under the knees. If you feel quite comfortable here, you've got the option to fold forward. Three. Inhale, slowly coming all the way up. I'm going to extend both legs now for Paschimottanasana. Again, you can sit on those blocks and the cushions. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Reach the hands high. Gaze up. And then exhale, reach the torso long and forward. And then you've got two options. You can soften the pose by turning the hands up, rounding the back relaxing the legs and just staying here in a passive version of the pose or you can flex the toes to the sky suck the abdominals in and up lengthen the torso and fold breathing together for five long breaths Slowly inhaling, coming all the way up. Exhale, take the fingertips behind you. Reach the heart to the sky. And exhale, release, coming all the way down onto your mat and taking a five-minute Shavasana. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.